So you're walking through a fish store, not planning on buying anything, and then you see it, a rare blue rambetta with insane coloring. You need to scoop it up before someone else does, but there is just one problem. You don't have a cycle tank ready, and waiting six weeks for the nitrogen cycle to establish is just not on the table. To be frank, the best way to start any aquarium is still to fully cycle your tank before adding fish. That will always be the most ideal, most stable, and most ethical route, but sometimes you're not in a perfect situation. Other scenarios, maybe your fish was a rescue, maybe your old tank crashed, or maybe someone just gifted you a fish during the holiday season. What if I I told you there is a safe way to set up a tank and add that fish on the very same day while still allowing beneficial bacteria to cultivate as required for any functional filtration system in a tank. If you're stuck in this kind of predicament, this method that I'm about to share is an option to consider, but it does come with some trade-offs. It requires more work, more testing, and more vigilance on your part, and you'll be dosing every single day, monitoring parameters almost daily, and staying consistent while your tank can get on its own two feet. I call it the splash method. Now, you may ask, how does this differ from a traditional fish and cycle? First off, I am very much against traditional fish and cycling from an ethical standpoint. The splash method uses modern advancements in the hobby, things like a ammonia detoxifying conditioners and concentrated bottled bacteria, which are tools fish keepers simply didn't have years ago. These tools buy you time and expedite the cycling process whilst keeping things relatively safe for your fish. All the items you will need to accomplish this splash method will be linked down below if you want to support the channel. So let's get right into it. Step one, the most important step. Use a complete dechlorinator. This is the foundation of what makes the entire method possible. Don't use just any water conditioner. It has to be a complete or holistic dechlorinator like Secam Prime or Fritz Complete. While a standard water conditioner only removes chlorine and chloramine, products like Secam Prime and Fritz Complete go further by detoxifying ammonia, nitrites, and even nitrates for about 24 hours. Note, these products don't remove these chemicals, they convert them into a safe form that your fish can survive in, while still leaving them in the water column so that your beneficial bacteria can feed on them. And this is important if you want your beneficial bacteria to colonize and multiply. Without getting the right dechlorinator, this method simply wouldn't work. Your fish would be exposed to toxic ammonia and nitrites before your bacteria can even begin to establish. A complete dechlorinator is the safety net that buys you time while your bacteria grow. Step two, adding live beneficial bacteria. Now, in order to jumpstart the cycle, we are gonna add bottled bacteria, and there are many options out there. My personal preference comes from Fritz. And while this video is not at all sponsored by Fritz, if you are watching Fritz, my door is wide open. Fritz actually makes a few different formulas that might be confusing, so here's a simple breakdown. Fritz Syme 7 is a standard strength freshwater nitrifying bacteria, it can work for this method, but you are better off using this product for your conventional cycling approach. For its Turbo Start 700, this is my preference when it comes to this method. Same species of bacteria as Fritz Time 7, but about 15 times more concentrated. Fritz themselves recommend Turbo Start 700 specifically for brand new tanks after a crash or when you're adding fish right away. Exactly what we're doing here. There is also a Turbo Start 900 versus 700. 900 is specifically for salt water, so not applicable for us at this time. Lastly, we have Fritzheim 360, and this is a little bit different. This is meant to break down organic waste and sludge. It's not really used for cycling purposes. According to Fritz, one proper dose of Turbo Start 700 is strong enough to fully seed your biofilter to support your fish. You can actually add more than one dose, especially if you're heavily stocking your tank or feeding a lot. And they say it won't hurt anything. This is good because I actually prefer to err on the side of precaution. And I'm gonna recommend we go further than just one dose or one splash, if you will. And because this video is not sponsored by Fritz, another viable option you could look into is Seachem Stability, though the bacterial concentration may not be as high as Turbo Start 700. Step three, adding your fish. As mentioned, the whole point of this method is to be able to add your fish on day one. So do it, just make sure you acclimate properly. And remember, your fish is now the ammonia source. For beneficial bacteria to survive and multiply, they need ammonia. And that comes from feeding your fish so that it produces waste. Just so that you have it in your back pocket, feel free to pause the screen. This is the nitrogen cycle that we're trying to encourage within your tank. 
When feeding your fish, you don't want to overfeed because leftover food can rot and cause dangerous ammonia spikes. But you do need to feed normally so that the nitrogen cycle actually has fuel to keep running. Remember, no food, no poop, no ammonia, and no cycle. Step four, daily splashing. Once a day, every single day, you're gonna be dosing with Prime or Fritz Complete, and then you're also gonna be dosing Seachem Stability or Fritz Turbo Start 700. This detoxifies ammonia and nitrite while feeding and growing your bacteria colony, as we mentioned before. Pretty simple so far, right? Moving on to step five, let's talk about water changes. In the beginning, you're gonna actually wanna avoid water changes because removing water also removes the detoxified forms of ammonia and nitrite, which your bacteria need to grow. If ammonia or nitrite go above four PPM, that's considered dangerous. And at that level, it can actually burn your fish's gills and even stall bacterial growth. If that does happen, do a water change to bring levels down, then redose with your dechlorinator and your bottled bacteria. All right, moving on to step six. How long do we do this for? Every fish keeper is gonna need this, whether you have one fish or two or a full room of fish, and that is an API master test kit. I'll go ahead and link that down below. If you do wanna support the channel, feel free to use that link. Now with that test kit, you're gonna to wanna to test your water parameters daily. You're looking for a couple of things, zero ammonia, zero nitrites, and nitrates showing up consistently between zero to 20 ppm. Once you get three days in a row of stable readings at target levels, keep dosing bacteria daily for one week to strengthen your colony. At this point, you can then reduce testing to twice a week. After three weeks of stable testing, safe to say your tank is likely cycled. You can now start normal water changes, just avoid huge changes over 40%, as this could crash your tank. And that's all there is to it. If this video helped you at all, drop a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. All items will be linked down below. I am grateful if you got this far and or if you use any of those links. And if you are doing the splash method specifically for a betta fish, make sure you watch my other video on how to enrich your betta's life so it's not just surviving, but actually thriving. I'll link it on the screen at the end of this video. My name is Harry from Farm Aquatics. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.